Hiya, I'm Ju Thiel, Perth Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Fertility Specialist. Now this is a very important video um, because the topic is about the mood of women in their pregnancy and after delivery. I think this is one of the most important um, topics to be discussed um, for maternity care. Childbirth and parenthood can be a stressful event for the body and the mind. Women may go through many hours of labor, followed by the delivery that results in a significant amount of blood loss. The levels of the hormones of estrogen and progesterone drop sharply in the first few hours after childbirth. In addition, looking after a young baby is a demanding job. It is not an easy task, and around-the-clock care without additional support can easily lead to fatigue. All of these stresses physically and mentally contribute to the occurrence of baby blues, which usually starts about two to three days after childbirth. Baby blues is associated with a feeling of depression, anxiety, and anger. Women can cry for no reason and also have trouble sleeping and eating. They may also have doubt that they can handle caring for their babies. Baby blues usually improve within a few days or one to two weeks without any treatment. Up to 1 in 7 women develop perinatal or postpartum depression, which is associated with more intense, intense feeling of sadness, anxiety or despair. The symptoms last longer than baby blues, and they prevent women from being able to care for their babies and to do other daily tasks. Postpartum depression can start even in many months after the delivery. Now, from my experience, um, Severe postpartum depression can happen to anyone really, can happen to you know, any social economic status, to any family structures. So we have seen severe uh, depression happen to families or to women um, after delivery with very good family support. Um, so yeah, in a nutshell, um, it, it can happen to anyone. It is important to recognize and seek help to treat perinatal depression and anxiety. The diagnosable condition needs to be considered when there are a few red flags, which are when a parent is experiencing strong emotions, which are impacting negatively on her ability to function in her usual way. And the symptoms are lasting for more than two weeks, which is much longer than the, the usual baby blues. And there's also a lack of enjoyment or pleasure in the life, in life and the baby. And this is associated with the inability to plan for the future. Um, there are also often thoughts of uh, suicide or harming the baby. So please remember that you're not alone. Do not ever forget that you're not alone. Many of us are lucky enough to have loving family, supporting friends and partners who are more than happy to lend a helping hand. Now, your friendly healthcare providers such as obstetricians, GPs, and midwives in the clinics and hospitals, we are all very easily accessible and to give help and advice. There are charitable, charitable organizations such as Raphael or Gidget Foundation that help women coping with depression and anxiety, and they provide free of charge counseling and treatments to those who need them. So, in summary, um, I think women. During pregnancy, well, especially after delivery, should be very sensitive to their feelings, and those around them have to watch out for the red flags. And it is important that uh, if there's any sign of depression or anxiety, we should um, ask for help as early as possible. That's it for this time. Thank you.